welcome back to my channel Gabby Bedding and welcome to today's video where we will be trying the Novo Pen Echo Plus. If you watched my meeting my diabetic nurses for the first time video a few weeks ago, I'll link it in the description if you haven't seen that, you would have seen that one of the things I got out of my clinic appointment was a brand new smart pen, which is this, the Novo Pen Echo Plus. If you're familiar with my channel, you know that I've been using the Novo Pen Echo, which is an insulin pen. It's not a smart pen, but it does have a little thing on the bottom that you can see how much you've injected, and it also does half dose. But now I am upgrading and I have the Novo Pen Echo Plus, and I'm so excited to try it so that's what we're going to be doing in this video today I hope you enjoyed the video if you do please give it a big thumbs up comment down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel and let's get opening this because i am so excited this is nova pen echo plus an insulin smart pen made by novo nordisk this one is the half dose pen i believe the nova pen echo 6 is the full dose pen that doesn't do half units okay so here it is the box looks so pretty and it's gonna be this lovely blue shade i know it i don't actually know if it comes in red i know the nova pen echo does come in red on first glance it does look very similar to my novo pen echo which if you haven't seen i will show you now i did do a whole video about this so you can check that out i'll link that in the description notice that it does have this kind of amount of units you've taken here five and a half but it does have the date and the time which this doesn't have so this is the old pen you'll see the only thing on this is actually how much i've taken last so i've waited long enough let's just open this up i'm so excited to have a smart pen and if you didn't see how i got one in my video i went to my clinic and i needed a new pen anyway and i just asked them could i have one and they said oh we have a smart pen do you want it and i was like yes so first glance it is looking very similar to my current pen let's just go straight for it we can look at the guides in a second case is obviously the same the traditional case they always have Obviously, this one is looking fresh and new and really nice. Oh, I'm excited to see the pen. Woo! So, it says Novo Pen Echo Plus. And it looks very nice and shiny. Let's get this out and have a look. That's the case. You can put your needles in this part. Let's look at the pen itself. First glance, I'm noticing this is way more thicker than the previous pen. And I will in the future, if you want to see, do a whole video comparing all different pens. Let me know if you want to see that. But first glance, that's what I noticed. This is much thicker. Everything else looks the same though, even the way it closes. And it says Nova Pen Echo Plus. And then the bottom here. So that's the pen itself. I'll put it back in its case for a minute and have a look at the guide. I'm going to open this up. So I'm thinking, are these just the same things in different languages? have a look at this as well so yeah this is just a different language there so Nova Pen Echo Plus remembers your injections so first of all it's saying it has the dose memory display that shows the details of your last injection the top is the number of units last injected and below you can see hours minutes and seconds this is so good let me show you in my previous pen when you press it you have these kind of four up down left right like a clock see bars come across so you could have two bars between 12 and 3 that would say oh it's been two hours since your last injection that's how that works which is kind of hard to navigate if you're not really sure if you want to know more about that that's all in my video that i did before but this is so much better to have the actual time and the date written underneath it hours minutes seconds so three hours 45 10 seconds ago that is so good oh yeah and here we go so this is the smart pen feature so the dose memory in the Nova Pen Echo supports by NFC. So I do have NFC on my phone. If you have a smart pen that also supports this, you can transfer your history from the Nova Pen Echo to your device and keep a personal injection long. That is revolutionary. So just make sure your device is compatible and that you have some sort of app. And apparently we just hold the phone on and we wait while the details go across. So of course we will be trying that out. It's so exciting to, like, it might not seem like much, but it's so exciting if you could have your details just go straight onto the app. I am wearing a Libra today and I know it works with the Libra link app. Don't know about Dexcom, we will find that out in this video what apps it actually does work with, but I do know it works with Libra link, that's why I'm wearing a Libra. Obviously we're not gonna look through everything, but this is what is in the contents. So an overview, intro, some notes, how to prepare the pen, injection after, how to use the dose memory that's what we will use the most i'd say in this video how to replace the insulin errors and how to take care of your pen which i should read because i never actually read that before so let's actually go ahead and have a quick look at the overview so it looks the same how to set up so that's fine we're going to use fias that's my insulin don't use white cloudy insulin so that's not relevant to me how to put on a needle 
how to test the insulin. So it's telling you how to pull it out, pick two units and then push it back in to check. And then how to dial up your dose. Like I said, this is a half unit pen, so you could do two and a half if you wanted. So how to check your last dose. Obviously I haven't done a dose at the moment, so we'll have to wait to see that. Make sure that your dose is on zero. Pull out the dose button and push it back in and it will display. Do not twist the dose button. And then some examples. So like this is 10 units injected 35 minutes, 50 seconds ago. And the part that I'm really interested in, how to keep a personal injection log. So need a phone with NFC, check you have a compatible app. So I do know that Libralink works, like I said. So we'll start off with Libralink and that's how to do it. Your pen has a unique ID, which is located on the dose button as shown. When you display your injection, your pen ID is linked. If you use different pens, check the ID, okay. And also at the back, it has this little quick guide. So I'll take that out there too. How the quick guide looks, a few things written on there. So that's really good. So let's try out our new pen. So exciting. So for anyone who doesn't know, I use Fiesp. That is my insulin. So this is a vial of Fiesp. You can get Fiesp in its own disposable pens, but I really like having these type of ready pens. So prepare the pens, we get it ready, put our vial in and simply twist it back together. And that's the insulin cartridge inside the pen. So I'm not going to inject at the moment because I'm not eating, but I will put on a needle. So the needles I use are Gluco or X and they're four millimeter needles. Here is how it is looking so far. So we will take it off and we will test our insulin. So I've just dialed up to one unit there. As you can see on the pen, probably nothing will come out. So I'm gonna dial it up to, I think, three. That should get some things to come out. Yeah, you can see it there. Go ahead and check at the back what it says. I can't remember if it goes this way or this way. Let's try this way. So we just push in, yay! Oh, I hope you can see it. So that's three units and that is how long I took it ago and it's counting up. I took it literally 20 seconds ago. So if I had taken three units, that would be so good. And then to stop that, you just pull it back out. Take the needle off and we will just check again. So say we came back to it. Oh, now I know I know what I took. Three units. That is so, that is so cool. So I'll put my lid back on my pen. Ooh, I'm really liking it. So for this next part, I'm going to screen record. Here is my Libralink app. I'm going to go down here to insulin pens. So we can connect, review and share. So let's get started. So I have a Novo Pen Echo Plus. So hold your pen flat against your phone and hold steady until the scan is complete. Woo! I added my pen. Oh my god, you get to pick your color uh, blue. And it is rapid acting insulin. And it is Fiesp. Oh, Fiesp is actually there. Well, wow. setup complete. Remember to scan your pen to transfer your doses to the app. Great. That was actually so easy. So I love this little picture of the pen here. Learn how to. So just hold your pen against the phone, right. Okay, so I've added my insulin pen. So I'm going to hold the phone against. Wow, this is so cool. So two new doses in the logbook. Oh my God, three units there and the one unit. That's so cool how it shows up on the Libra app. And you know what I'm most impressed by it was how easy it was. Like that was super, super easy. I literally just, I know exactly the spot to tap it off off the phone and I pressed it and that was so simple. And now I can have my doses on the Libra logbook. That is so good. So that was how to set up the pen with the Libralink app. I'm gonna go and figure out if the Dexcom is possible. It might not be possible through Dexcom. You might have to use like a third party app. But if you have Libra, you are sorted because that was very easy. So I big 10 out of 10 for the pen, it's so good. One thing I will say, because I do wanna do a comparison video separate, is the weight is so much heavier. Yeah, I'll face the label so you can see it. It's so much heavier than the old pen. 
it's just so much heavier so i wonder what is actually in there but i love it so let's figure out if we can use dexcom with it because that would be great as well i actually almost forgot the nurse gave me this like you can literally hang this on the wall your guide to using the novo pen smart pen which is very funny like what you want will i put it up on my wall what do you think it's the same information but i just find it hilarious she also gave me this guide as well so it is looking good in the silver. Where's the silver? Oh, maybe the Pen 6 is in the silver. So making it look very modern. I don't know if this leaflet is for like regular users or to try and get companies to buy this pen. I'm not really sure. Here we go. So this is the different apps that it is compatible with. Also, I just realized the pen ID is like there on the pen. So if you pulled it out, it would look like that. And you have a unique ID to each pen. So use NFC. You need to have NFC to get the pen to connect. And these are the different apps. So Libralink, we knew that that would work with that because I saw it actually come up on the app. I've never heard of Gluco. It allows you to sync it with CGMs. Um, so I might have to download that. I do have my sugar, but I've never used it with my Dexcom. So I'll have to have a look. And then, oh yes, I'm guessing right, so Gluco and Dexcom. So you need this third-party Gluco app to use Dexcom. So yeah, we'll, it's easier on the Libralink app, definitely, because there's a section built in. You don't need to download another app, but we're gonna try and get this Gluco now for Dexcom. Okay, everybody, so it is Dexcom time. I have one on, yeah, it's been bleeding, so it kind of ruined my vision of the cow patch, but, we want to get our smart pen working with the Dexcom, so I'm going to go and download this Gluco app because it says Gluco plus Dexcom. So pen data from Nova Pen 6 and Echo can be viewed with Dexcom using Gluco. It doesn't say on it what to do, so we're just going to download the app, do a little walkthrough and see if we can get the Novo Pen working with it. But sugar is 5.5, which is really good. So yeah, I'm going to go download the Gluco app now and see if we can get it working with the Dexcom for the smart pen. Alright guys, so this is how the app is looking. I've literally just registered, so I'm going to have a look through to see what I can do. So I'm guessing I need to register my smart pen and also my Dexcom, so I'm going to try and do that now. Here we go, smart pen and continuous glucose meter. Okay, there's the pen. Click that there, add. And my CGM is Dexcom, add, okay. Right, so how do I connect the two? Let's try the Dexcom first. Okay, so I just logged into Dexcom and connected it. So that's done. Now we're gonna sync our Novo Pen. Novo Pen Echo Plus, yes. Insulin Fiasp, very similar to the Libra. Hold the pen to the NFC chip on the mobile device. Okay, so I'm just holding the pen against the phone and it's loading. And it is now connected. That was very easy. And it's complete. So this is very interesting on the Gluco. It says it can detect the prime doses if they're two units or less six minutes before. That is really, really good. So that is something the Libra app didn't have. Here is my profile now. So charts and graphs, everything is there. I've only had the decks come on one day, but that's a really cool graph. Maybe this video is about insulin pens, but maybe I need to go through this app and do a video about it. Let me know if you want to see that in the comments and the insulin. So it says I've taken 33 units today. That looks pretty good. So I don't think I can do anything else. Oh, I can swipe over here and go insulin. So Okay, you can add it manually through there, or I think if I just tap off it, it will work too. So what I'll do to test it is I'll take some insulin in a while and we'll see if this 33.8 changes to another thing, or if I need to tap it off, we'll see what comes up on the screen then. Right, so we have my insulin pen here. So we will do a first test of, it said less than two units within six minutes. So I'm gonna do one unit as the prime and see if that works. One unit there and now i'll just dial it up to i think five units and we'll pretend that was a real injection i hate to waste it but for the purpose of the video we're going to do it so that's all gone there so let's go on to the app go into devices novopen next yeah it's fiasp 
hold it together and it's synced and all of the information has been added so let's see if that changed and it did change 34.2 so the gluco app is actually looking pretty cool so some other things it does say you can go into charts and graphs when you have enough data obviously and you can see all of the insulin spread over the dates and time that you took it which is pretty good and also if you have another smart pen it would split it between like basil and bolus obviously i've just downloaded the gluco app to try it for my smart pen so i do have to have a little bit of a play around with it but it looks pretty cool let me know if you want to see a video about the gluco app or any other diabetes apps but i like the way it looks on the interface i like the way you can see your dexcom data just there and i like the way you can see how much insulin you've taken all together i do like though on the libra how it's split like you have the kind of home screen your blood sugars and then the smart pen readings are in gray i'm not sure which one i like better like it does look good on the glucose app that you can see graphs of your insulin as well and get a bit more information there but it kind of look I kind of like how it looks on the Libra in terms of syncing them both with the Libra you just tap it off the back with the Gluco app you go into sync and then tap it kind of the same so I'm really glad though I could get it working for the Dexcom because I didn't think I would but that is obviously a flaw like Dexcom you have the Dexcom app itself and then you have the Clarity app it would just make more sense if you could put the smart pen readings in one of those like why do you have to have a Gluco app as well that's three apps for Dexcom as opposed to one for Libra so it's kind of like that. So yeah, that is my video on the Novo Pen Echo Plus, my very first smart pen. And I'm gonna keep using it with my Dexcom now. It seems pretty easy to use. So I'm really happy with it as well because it does make it easier just to have a look back and go, oh, I did take that much insulin. I know you could press the bottom of this pen as well and get some info there, but it's just so much easier seeing it digitally on an app. And I do like it on the Libra though, so I think I'll have to get used to the Gluco app as well. And then maybe I'll love it as much as it looks on the Libra. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please comment down below. And if you have a smart pen as well, let me know how you're getting on with it. Because I've seen a few people just starting to get smart pens. So it seems to be the new thing for anyone that's MDI like me, multiple daily injections. So yeah, let me know what you think of them. And if you have the Nova Pen 6 as well, let me know how that's going. Obviously mine's the Echo Plus, which does the half units, like I said. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will see you all in the next video.